sport. It's being played every day across the world. Football, soccer, basketball, you name it, they're probably playing it now. But in the massive ranges of sports that are being played, how many of them are exclusi exclusively played by women and provide them with the opportunity to push their limits despite the constraints of a politically correct world today? Well, I know one. Let's ride. So, who are these girls and why do they play roller derby? Come with us on a journey into the lives of Sun State Roller Girls. So how does roller derby work? Basically, a bat is broken up into two halves and within these two halves are multiple jams. Jams can only go on for two minutes each and there is what's called a jammer from each team. The jammer's job is to score the points, and she does this by passing the pack which is made up of the remaining five players from each of the teams. A point is scored for each of the opposing team members passed. So what do you do when you're not playing roller derby? Uh, whatever I can cram into the spare time. Uh, no, I'm a graphic designer. So. Uh, I'm a nurse. I'm actually a maths teacher at one of the local high schools. I manage the concept store for Napoleon Purtis in the city. They're generally mums or nurses or doctors or teachers. So how did you hear about Roller Derby? Uh, I actually saw it on TV on CSI New York when I lived in San Diego. And uh, so I googled Roller Derby and the San Diego Derby Dolls actually played a couple blocks from where I was living. So in comparison to the American Roller Derby, how does Australian Roller Derby compare? It's hard because you know we haven't had any of our leagues play the American leagues yet, but you know, Rat City's coming over at the end of the year and hopefully we get a chance to play them and that will give us an idea as to where we stand with the rest of the world. But in saying that, we did have Australian and New Zealand nationals last year, um, and I think there was about 18 teams. So what does roller derby mean to you? Roller derby is like a family and it's a way of life. And you know, they come to their four hours of training each week and they can push the boundaries then. You know, they get pushed to doing things that they never thought they could do. You know, roller derby, for me, has become a way of life. It's become a very much a head game, a team game, and um, skill, I like people can come up but I think what really is setting people apart is when they get their heads into the game um, and can outsmart with tactics and strategy. You haven't really been involved in other competitive sports, what appealed to you about roller derby? Being a contact sport it's more aggressive, it's um, I guess outside the realm of what uh, people would normally class as you know, appropriate sports for women to play and I really like the idea that it challenges that um, notion of what women can and should be doing. Um, you know, it's a, a sport where you can get out there and you can use your body, um, you know, in a, in a way that's not usually encouraged for women to do in society in general, so it's great. This is more of an athlete sport than a lot of sports and it gets frustrating that the media tends not to portray us in a sports view. You know, if we're ever in the media, we're in the media in the entertainment section rather than in the sports section, which is where we belong. The, the questions are usually, you know, what's with the roller, uh, the roller skates? Why are you wearing fishnets? And I find it really, um, I guess, insulting to women's sport that the questions about what we're doing would be focusing on what we wear. I have heard comments from men saying such things as, uh, you know, if it was a real sport, men would play it and those sorts of things. And I mean, that just, is so wrong I think people are happy to get media and promote it as wow this is this amazing thing happening and in that situation the focus is on you know like the spectacle of it all which is really not what this league is involved in I mean we're a sporting league we're competitive and you know we're here to play a game we're not here to put on a show <laughs> So what's the best way to get into roller derby? You get down to your local rink and do the social sessions, go to their beginning skating classes and that way you get your skating legs about you so when a league does call for tryouts you at least have some basic skating skills that you can hopefully impress them with. It's a great opportunity to really push yourself as a person. Um, I would recommend derby to everyone. It's, it'll be one of the best things they ever do because it's that small amount of time each week that you get to spend on yourself. Clearly, roller derby is an athletic and liberating sport for women. With the ever-increasing popularity of this sport, will roller derby ever be taken out of the entertainment section and placed in the sports section where it belongs? 